Hey everyone, <laughs> just decided to, to join, but uh, I have this AirPod in, so I don't even know if you'll be able to pick up as she talks, but um, this is our video challenge for this week for Self Perfected. <laughs> On Friday, we had a really cool discussion with, I think, 59 other people around the world, <laughs> and um, this is what came from it, is we're all realizing that right now in the world, it's like... It's like, um, for example, around this time last year, coronavirus became like this big thing that everyone's talking about, right? And like throughout the year, different big, like traumatic type things happened that the media and that people just like talk about all the time. And um, right now there's, there's not, I, uh, there's like a calm before the storm because there will definitely be more stuff that happens. That's for sure. You can bet on that. Um, obviously things like, um, what's happening with the U S stock market and all that is, is, uh, you know, worthy of looking at, but right now it's like, we all have this opportunity to really decide where do we go from here? It's like, at least for myself, I'm not backed into a corner right now. And there's these times in our lives where when things are going decently well, we tend to just like take our foot off the gas and just kind of coast. But I would really suggest to to listen to this video and what I'm about to share, because there's five different points that I want to bring up of where do we go from here. I'll talk about them at a high level. And then if anyone has specific questions, we can go into that or I can make separate videos on it. But um, this is what I've really come to see as the different areas where we need to have clear direction of where we're going as, as a collective, as, as individuals first, you got to be clear within yourself, but then as a collective. So what is, uh, what are the five pillars, points, pillars, whatever, whatever you want to call it, doesn't really matter. <clears throat> the first one is education and education, meaning how do you keep yourself learning? How do you keep discovering more about yourself? Um, if you, I mean, that age old saying, if you're not growing, then you're dying. Well, what are you doing today in this week to actually really grow? Like within your own self-honesty, you can say, hi, I'm actually growing and developing. Okay. That's part one. And I can go more into that. Part two is now looking at the whole situation around money within our lives. So finances, finances, meaning money controls our lives right now. <laughs> um, and don't, don't try and pretend like, oh, well, I don't need money to live or like money doesn't provide happiness. Like if you have a home, if you have a phone, if you have internet, if you have clothes, you have to use money. We live in a system where money exists. So it's now it's about making our relationship with money right. And that's also, so where do we go from here is about applying our self honesty and developing our understanding of how we can use money and actually direct it to what's best. Okay. Third point is looking at you could call it politics, but it's really just how we look at how people interact with each other and how we can um, manage and direct that in a way that's actually best for everybody. Because right now, money rules the world. And companies, um, and people with just a lot of power and influence uh, have the ability to really manipulate how government happens, how politics happens. And so uh, some people think that, for example, in the United States, we live in a democracy. Um, but really where it's headed, if it's not already there and obvious, is it's a technocracy. It's a society. Well, and, and, it's, and it's like, uh, it's really like, uh, like an oligarchy. It's like we're ruled by the rich and we're ruled by these tech elite companies. I mean, look at Facebook is how we're all interconnected right now. <laughs> and if Facebook doesn't want you to share a certain type of message, they can say this violates our community guidelines. And that's something that we all have to look at of where do we go from here? Because if we aren't intentional about looking at the political scenario of the world, <laughs> what's going on in China right now? I mean, why is... <laughs> I'll save that for a future video to, to, to talk about China. But just let's look at it, for example, for our own communities. I mean, do you even know who your local mayor is of your city or the governor of your state is? Are you involved in any capacity with local policy? I'm looking at that ahead for this upcoming year of what does it look like to really get involved and get to know the, the key uh, change makers in a community? Because where the world's headed is, unless we take responsibility, there's just going to be more control from the top down and centralized power. And I don't want that. And you probably don't want that either.
All right. The fourth part is now community. So where are we going from here in terms of our community? Even if you just look at your friends, like your main three friends, or your family, or the people that you spend time around, or your neighbors, right? What do you want for your relationships with your friends? Like really just think about that for a moment. Like what would be the best outcome with your friends, family, and then the community around you? So Jess and I, for example, every other week we host a meetup in person. Um, we have people from all around the Twin Cities, Minneapolis come in. And it's a way to consistently build community, especially now when times are tough for people. It's like a place for people to come and get support, plus being in person. Physical interaction is so critical, and people are getting less of that than ever before. Um, we have friends up in Ottawa, for example. Like I see Megan watching this, and um, Kian and Asif have built a very large community up there, and I know it keeps growing. And that's really cool because building locally is going to be so so essential, especially moving forward when everyone's just going to want to stay inside, just watch Netflix, just order groceries to the home. You aren't going to need to leave your home, but that's eventually going to backfire and people are going to go stir crazy in their homes, just like it's basically a, a kind of a, a glamorized like prison in a sense. And people are going to want to go back and get out there. So what do you want? Really, are you willing to take that responsibility and set up some sort of local gathering, some sort of community, right? To actually build community in a way that's actually best for your community. Like if you have kids or you want to have kids one day, you know, who are your kids going to spend time around? I know Jess and I, we're definitely not putting our kids in school. They'll find other ways to socialize. That's, that's the, it, for people who give that argument of like, oh, well, don't, you know, you, how are your kids going to socialize if they don't go to school? It's like, there are 10,000 other ways for them to socialize. Plus, I'm not going to put them in an environment where they're forced to wear masks all day. And they're not actually learning anything. But that goes back to the other pillar of, <laughs> of education because there's very few people in the world who know what real education is. Um, but where do we go from here is we bring education forward, we bring community forward, and, and these other points. So um, the fifth and, and final point I want to talk about is where are we going from here is in terms of um, like looking at family. Looking at what is the family structure, both here in the U.S. and, and around the world. <clears throat> um, there's, everyone's got an opinion around family, but there is really a best way that family can happen. And obviously everyone has their own context and their own situation. Um, but if we don't take family seriously and look at ways where we can support um, kids, especially these future generations, Kids are entering a world where there's more information being flown around from everywhere. There's more misinformation. Um, children are not equipped to handle the world, especially a world post-COVID and when AI and automation really take over. I mean, it's, it's already here. If you've ever seen Amazon Go, just look that up. I mean, that's already here. Um, Self-driving cars. Um, there's been, I heard yesterday a statistic, and this was from an interview two years ago, that there's already been over 2 billion miles driven with self-driving cars from Tesla alone, okay? That means everyone driving Uber, thinking you have job security. Like our kids are going to inherit a world where they're gonna say, what, they used to let people drive? Like really? Or at least in main cities, like that's where it's headed. But people don't even see that coming. People are gonna be so blindsided by this. And when people get overwhelmed, people go into reaction and people can do some pretty crazy stuff. And so let's prepare ourselves prepare our communities and for those who have families or you see kids and you know younger generation of kids that you actually really care about let's start having these conversations of understanding where do we intend to go from here because if you're right now not in a reactive shitty position if life is kind of good use that that's a gift you may not always have that and if we don't step up and actually direct this whole situation we are going to be backed into a corner so let's really look at this this week. And that's why we have this video challenge within Self Perfected. And for those who don't know what Self Perfected is, it's a community of people who are dedicated to self perfection. You hear the term self development thrown around a lot, right? It's like, oh, I'm developing myself, I'm improving myself, I'm you know, putting in new habits or whatever, right? People have their perception and their definition of, of, of self development. Well, most of that is, is bullshit, to be frank, because it's like working on yourself up to a certain point we are likely gonna experience resistance or fear. And that's how most people define self-development, is yep, I'm working on myself, I'm implementing a new habit, but when you get to that, you know, that one day where it's really hard and you fall off and the habit breaks, right? Has anyone here ever broken a habit before? Of course, right? That's, that's what self-development does and it goes up to a certain point and then you fall off. 
Self-perfection is the point of going through it, of actually transcending the old pattern and integrating a new one. And that's a process. It takes tools to do that. And it takes a community of like-minded people to help hold you accountable. Because it's very easy to bullshit yourself when you're working on yourself alone. But when you have community and you have consistent checking in, that, that's how you stay accountable to yourself and, and, and to a community. And you, you can't bullshit people, okay? That is why I've created this group. And I realize 80% of people still can't hear this message, but eventually they will. But for right now, I'm looking for the 20% of people who can hear this message and who do want to actually do something great with their lives and have some sort of impact, whether it's just on themselves and their immediate surroundings or on the entire world. So those five pillars, education, finances, politics, community, family, looking at the kids especially, that is where we go from here is looking at those having a clear understanding of what that looks like in an ideal form, and then applying ourselves every single day to actually make that happen. So it's Sunday, it's the beginning of the week. This is a wonderful time to actually um, like really create, like really move yourself, set yourself up. I mean, plan your schedule in advance, like look at, you know, look at what can be done and then let's do it. So that's what's up. If any of this resonated with you, reach out, leave a comment. I'm happy to elaborate on this or hear your perspective on it because no one can do this alone. But when you do it together, that's how you actually make things happen. So, all right, everyone. Talk soon.